Oh, I love the sound of this car already. Oh, that backfire though! What? Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on Drift 21. You can see our LS350 over there. But over here, we have a BRZ with no motor in it. That's because Drift 21 had an update with a lot of cool features. So we're going to take a look at those today. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. I would appreciate the support and tap that like button if you like this video because that helps me out tremendously. So let's get to it. So, like I said, Drift21 had a update with a new motor here for the game, and that is, we're going to go complete engine, the boxer motor is here. So we do have a BRZ, we're going to purchase the boxer motor, and then we're going to move the boxer motor. into the BRZ because you know that's where a boxer motor should go and now we need to install some missing components so we need to install our radiator hose and then lower radiator hose so we're gonna get the boxer set up so that we can take this thing on the track we gotta add the interior parts Hopefully enough cash for all this we should anything else under the front nope 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 good good we need to add a probably gonna go with a, a normal transmission for right now luckily all these parts are pretty inexpensive because otherwise uh, this could have been well let's go make some money but we do looks like we're going to have all the money we need to actually do this part of it because I do have all the other seats and everything so that should be good to drive now we should we do have wise fab in the front of this car or you know angle kit in the front of this car so with that being said I think the BRZ is good to go on the ground and over to the other dyno area so that we can put the interior pieces on there we're gonna take a look at some other features that were added so we're gonna move the dyno so we do have that boxer motor in there and now we got to of course install this stuff which we already have purchased from other cars which is good that we don't have to purchase it again we're just gonna put the same components in that we have in our other car in there I throw in our universal halo seats go to the other side and I believe we're probably just gonna put a standard seat in there for now let me get to the seats uh, put a universal seat in there we go so now the car should be good to go to the check the param car parameters let's check this out engine uh oh really didn't come with a starter okay all right mr starter uh i'm probably gonna have to get you from the top or from the bottom no the unfortunate moment where we forget to put a starter in the car all right so we have to drop that over here move this to the left you know i didn't know that the car didn't come with a starter in it where's my starter mr starter i mean that would definitely uh hinder us from getting this car onto you know the car parameters in the dyno so let's go here and now let's go car parameters okay now we're good run dyno 142 horsepower so very low horsepower but we're going to rip it and the factory and then we're going to add components to this to make it 
even better. Now, a f couple other things that were added into the game is something that I was waiting for. A lot of people were that X button down in the corner of the screen, which you can't see because my pedal cam. It does say remove car. You can now remove cars as well as move cars left and right in your garage. You can remove them from the virtual garage, which actually is a huge benefit because a lot of people don't want you know a lot of different cars in their garage or that like for my personal per preference I wouldn't be doing a Miata build even though I probably should for the garage challenges but you can delete it and remove it which was some people talking about that so we're gonna go into the BRZ we're gonna go to single player and we're just gonna take this out in a free mode aspect just to see what the BRZ can do and hear what it sounds like BRZ with the boxer motor but there's some other features in the game that I want to talk about oh that's definitely how this car should sound we're gonna lower that audio just a smidge oh yeah so one other cool feature that was added was this camera setup so you can change the actual positioning of your cameras height distance everything to set it up how you want cockpit with driver so the cockpit with driver is the one that does the positioning well you can actually now move the seating position and the pitch and increase your field of view and say move this around and actually get a better driver's perspective so we're going to uh, decrease field of view move this back some see that's inside the halo so we can actually adjust and make the camera how we want it to look which is actually really awesome to be able to do that now and fine-tune our camera settings I hit the reset button and fine-tune our camera settings and make it that much better I think is it this one that has a pivot cam it might be so we may have to adjust this one actually camera setup so we, this one without driver hands and we're gonna move this up we're gonna pitch it down increase field of view a little bit and then go from there. So let's take this BOZ for a quick rip. See, now we're in a better view for pivoting. Now driver with hands. This one doesn't have a pivot view, I don't think. No. See, this doesn't pivot, so you want to go into this view, but now we can pull it back so we're not directly in the, the line of the camera so this BRZ motor stock is lacking a little bit of power but I do like how this car sounds this would be great for a grip car right now for say a time attack yeah this car is lacking a little bit of power which we may have to add some more power to but it's actually quite well for Rip driving. We may just need to take this into a time attack. It goes to the pits here. This could be very good for a time attack run. I love how it sounds though. So we do need a lot more power in the BRZ motor. So let's go back to the garage and see what options we have for the BRZ motor. Because I feel like we should be able to do a turbo manifold on it, which if we could just add some boost to it, will be definitely very good. So I love the changing of now being able to adjust the camera preferences and things like that. Why am I opening up my music? You can't see that, but I just opened up my music. I hope it doesn't start playing music on me. I hit the wrong button. Okay. So, what I want to be able to see is, yeah, 
Intake Manifold Basic, Intake Manifold, Intake Manifold Sports. Can we actually turbo this car is the main question. So let's actually just look at open warehouse. All kinds of coolant pipes. I want to be able to see if we have a boxer turbo manifold. Exhaust manifold right, exhaust manifold turbo right. V8, online four, three rotor, boxer. Turbo exhaust manifold right there. So we can throw a turbo on it, which I'm half tempted to just do and see if we can't throw a little throw a little spoolie boy on it and see if we can't get a little bit more power hopefully I have enough money to maybe throw a spoolie boy on but we're gonna find out we should be able to get this from the bottom of the car take the flex pipe off take the exhaust manifold off and then if we go E we should be able to find new parts turbo manifold enter that in there Oh, we're getting pretty low on, uh, on money now. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough money to put a spoolie boy in on this episode. So we're going to drop this down. See what we're actually missing. Spoolie boy. Oh, we do have enough money to put a basic turbocharger on the car. Oh, we can go with type 2. Mm, but we need other pipes. So we're going to go with a basic turbo first. And then we need to add, whew, we're getting, we're getting low on, can we add this universal filter on there? We can. All right. Although I think we should be good with that. We have two intake pipe setups. A little, oh, no, here we go. Add a blow off pipe. Add the blow off valve. Oh, we don't have enough money for the wastegate? Oh, no. Um, well, that's a bit unfortunate. We don't have enough money for that wastegate pipe. Um, so we need to go quickly make some money if we can so we can buy the wastegate so that we can actually... We should just be able to do this first challenge. In the V8 uh, 350, we need a little bit of money to get the wastegate so we can actually take the car out with a little bit of boost in that motor. We got enough money for our uh, wastegate, though. Oh, we did! All right, let's go back to the garage. Put the wastegate on our BRZ and see if we can't get that thing in the dyno. See what kind of power it makes, and then take it on the track real quick to end this episode off. If you guys want to see more Drift 21 here on the channel? Make sure you guys tap that subscribe button and that like button. It definitely helps me out. BRZ, we need to put our wastegate on there. Where are you? You're right there, wastegate. Got you this time. All right, so now we should be able to put you onto the dyno and run your parameters. What are we missing? Oh, ha <laughs> ha, intercooler. And then we're probably gonna be missing intercooler piping. Dummy me forgot the intercooler. So, Go figure, we forget the intercooler, and I, we do not have the $140 for the intercooler piping, or the basically the $240 for the intercooler piping. So I guess that means Z, another drift challenge. Go back and try and actually accomplish this one again. 
all the struggles of trying to get this turbo on this BRZ. Probably should have made sure I had all the money. But, you know, we get some driving involved in this building in this process. actually gotten all of it that time there we go now we should have plenty of money to put the intercooler piping on basic turbo basic intercooler nothing high end so we're, you know we're gonna be doing a bigger build on this BRZ with more power and everything just trying to see what the power difference is with adding a little spoolie boy to it all right so now we got to add our two intercooler pipings and we should be good to go you would think dummy me for not remembering that you know you put a spoolie boy on you kind of need an intercooler now car parameters now we can run the dyno so previously we were at 142 and now we're at 229 so that's a definitely big increase so let's go to signal player let's go here to free run and run the BRZ with a little spoolie boy and see if we can actually get some slides going. I feel like the increase of 87 horsepower is going to do a good amount of power with it. Oh, that sounds so good. Oh, I love the sound of this car already. Oh, that backfire though. What? Oh yeah. Oh! That sound, it's so good! Oh, what does it sound like inside? Oh! Oh, that sounds so good. So I think that'll do it here for this episode here on Drift 21. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all the description box below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. This BRZ sounds so good. I'm Evil Rabbit. See you guys on the track.